Time for the Bias Sports Report. Chris Chelio, Scott Niedemeyer, and Brendan Shanahan are among others who will be going into the Hockey Hall of Fame, a solid class of inductees. I don't know if you knew this, but Chelios is actually older than the Hall of Fame itself. So it makes sense. He was there for the ribbon cutting back in 1936. He could have actually made the Hall of Fame 15 years ago if he if he didn't play till he was 60. Some people are upset that Eric Lindros didn't make it in. Dum, 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 dum. And this is the second year in a row he's uh, he's been passed over. Last I checked, it wasn't the spoiled Brad who can't keep his head up in the neutral zone Hall of Fame. It's the Hockey Hall of Fame. Dum, 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 dum. Scott Niedermeyer actually went third the year Lindros went first overall. And then, of course, Lindros, Les Screwed, Les Nordiques. Actually, he didn't. Because <laughs> the Nordiques got like an entire team from Philadelphia in that trade. You remember who went second overall in that year? 1991. Do you remember? Between Lindros and Niedermeyer? 875-1061. Who went second? Huh? Uh, no, see, I don't know. It was Pat the Hammer Falloon. Dum, 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 dum. That's right. The face of the sounds like sharks, man. I remember I had a Falloon jersey. I actually did. The pride of Fox Warren, Saskatchewan, or Manitoba, wherever he's from. Over 2,500 Patriots fans turned in their Aaron Hernandez jerseys for new jerseys of non-murdering football players. Uh Uh-oh. And this is interesting. Tim Tebow's jersey didn't even make the top five. So people are turning in their Hernandez jerseys, and nobody wanted a Tebow jersey in exchange. Didn't even make the top five, so I got to do this. Wait, way to go, Patriots fan. Somebody's not buying into the hype. Meanwhile, in New York, people are trying to exchange Tim Tebow jerseys for Aaron Hernandez ones. It's true. Oh, I got to get rid of this Tebow jersey. He made it one year. Uh, did you see Jets coach Rex Ryan running with the Bulls in Spain? It was awesome. Dum, 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 dum. Luckily, it was the slowest bull on the, on the face of the earth. Even though he lost a bunch of weight, Rex Ryan shouldn't be running with anything, especially bulls. I mean, he should maybe race a tortoise. He might win that. That's about all he's qualified to do. Former wrestling diva Stacy Keebler has dumped George Clooney. Uh-oh. Boom out of here, old man. That's what she said. And now wrestling fans all over the world finally have a shot with her. It's still real to me, damn it. Now that she's single, I have a shot. Like that guy. Like this guy. It's still real to me, damn it! He, he was at a house show in Albuquerque, New Mexico in 2001. And she, like, touched his hand and smiled at him. And he thought, I have a chance. You never had a chance, wrestling guy. You still don't. You never will. It's still real to me, damn it! You know what? I don't have a chance either. I don't have a chance either. Sunshine Girl Tasha can't wait for the Hope Volleyball Tournament this Saturday. Can't wait. She can't wait. I have no idea what that is or where it is, but I can't wait either. Can't wait. That'll be good.